haven't really talked about, I mean, we talked about jobs, we talked about game passes, but we haven't talked about skills yet, and they are a pretty important factor in Bloxburg. Well, not really, but they are, they're, they're sort of, I don't know. Are they really? I, I don't know, actually. <laughs> so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about some skills that they should add, some of the skills we already have, and some skills that we have, but we don't really use, but we can't use, because they're not really added into the game yet. So let's get into it. But if you guys are new here, and you guys want new skills added and make sure you subscribe to the channel I bet you if you subscribe a skill will be added tomorrow. I'm probably not but you should still subscribe Anyways, don't forget to smash the like button down below as well if you guys do enjoy these videos and uh, Yeah, let's get into it. But tree don't you want skills as well? Mm hmm yeah see but tree even agrees so here we are on the skills and we have a lot of skills I know my skills are pretty low okay and don't come at me but uh, we have cooking here which is like the only most important skill here okay because each level gives you uh, a different option of what you can cook which was actually recently added I mean it was added like what last year or something and it wasn't always like that you could cook everything I believe so yeah, so we have cooking and then we have intelligence and as some people have told me that intelligence actually is useful You get more money. So I'm not exactly sure if it's hundred percent true But intelligence I'm gonna say that it has use because you can get more money from it But then we get into the things that really have absolutely no use whatsoever So we have music and music literally has nothing wait don't wait I think music has stuff where you can use different types of instruments or like open new songs But is that really useful? Nah, and then we have writing and uh, this is the first one I can say there is no use for this skill at all I mean like what do you get for writing nothing? Okay, like absolutely nothing comes out from this skill It's useless also with gaming get nothing out of it athletic get nothing out of it And then we go to gardening which actually you get stuff out of it You can plant new trees and stuff like that So the only two that are most useful that unlock new things is gardening and cooking intelligence will get you more money I believe and that is all painting again useless so, so I would love to see these pre-existing skills to get more stuff with them You know like maybe if you level up writing you could write a book and sell it or something or with gaming You can be a professional gamer or with painting you can go paint stuff and sell it on the market um, So there's a lot of stuff that you could do with these skills already um, And then we have two that are in the game yet. So we are looking forward to these two, which is crafting and programming. And programming, I think it'll be just another useless thing, to be honest. I don't know what that would bring, so I just feel like that's gonna be useless. But crafting sounds pretty good. I feel like that is gonna be another, like, big thing, you know? Um, maybe we can craft our own custom furniture, like Animal Crossing or something. I don't know, but I'm pretty excited for that. But we have these two that aren't in the game. Um, but yeah, skills are... Something that we need, but something that I could, I think that Bloxburg could do a little bit more with. And so now that we have gone over all of the skills that are already in the game and all that, I asked you guys on my Discord server what you guys would like to see in Bloxburg, like some new skills. So let's get into that. If you guys haven't already joined my Discord server, there's a link in the description below. Go follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well while you're down there. So here we are on the skills thing, and you guys have sent a lot of them. I am sorry if I don't get to you, but there is just so many. But there's a whole darn list here from a disco underscore granny here and number one is a driving skill to give use to the traffic lights which i actually really like that idea i think that would be super cool if you get some more skills for the traffic lights because nobody uses the traffic lights and it would feel more realistic i feel like maybe even the stop signs if you stop at the stop sign you could get like up your skill it would also be really cool if they had like a little timeline that would actually give you a driver's license maybe on level one and two you're just learning and then on level three you get like a permit and then level five you actually get a driver's license I think that'd be really cool. I don't know. That would just be a fun little thing to have. Number two is the crafting skill, which we already have actually. Yeah, but we can't really do anything. But I have, I have high hopes for the crafting skill. Whenever it comes out, I'm pretty excited for that. I really like this one called parenting skill. This would be, I don't know if that would be useful though, because we can't really, there's no like function like adopt me, like having families and stuff. Maybe they could, you, they could implement that. Um, but I'm not sure what a parenting skill would do. Maybe that could come along if they ever add babies. 
I don't know. Cleaning skill is another cool one. I mean, we already have like laundry and stuff like that. So it would be cool if you can get like that. I don't know what use it would do though, because you would just level things up. Maybe on level five, you would get faster at doing laundry and the, the animations would just be faster, I guess. That would be pretty cool. I don't know. We'll see. And yes, use code Unicorn when purchasing premium or Robux. Love you. We had a really funny one from Cactus over here and they want a dance skill. And then once you read level five, you can learn some TikTok dances like throwing it back. So if you want to learn some TikTok dances, then yeah, that would be actually really fun. Um, but the only thing is that we can already use like every dance animation in Bloxburg. Uh, but maybe they have some specialty ones like that Bloxburg just has. And then you get to learn them. That would be pretty fun. And Crystal wants a pooping skill. Every time you go to pick a poop, you level up. Sounds very useful, I would say. We have this awesome little thing from Ebony over here. And skills from Bloxburg. How well you drive your car again. I think this is another driving one. This would be actually really cool how friendly you are. Oh, that would make it really fun. I don't know. That would be cool. How much money you make slash spend. Oh my gosh. What if there is like a millionaire scale or something on Bloxburg where you get you as much as you have, like how much you've ever made, not how much you've spent actually, but like the whole existence of Bloxburg, it would tell you how much you have had money, you know, like every single cent. That would be so cool. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I'm just thinking. That probably made no sense to you guys. I'm not sure. But anyways, how much you use code unicorn? That is a very good skill. I, I love that skill. <laughs> how long you play for a day? Oh my gosh, that'd be cool. Yeah, maybe we should get like little rewards actually. Maybe not a skill. Maybe like rewards of like how long you play. Like it would count every single hour, every single minute, every second you play on Bloxburg and would give you little rewards. Instead of like daily rewards, it can be like how much time you play. A lot of y'all want a, a driving skill. I think that'd be really fun. Like more stop signs, red traffic lights, you stop at higher level. That sounds really cool. I think they should really add a driving skill. Um, That would be super cool. There's a lot of long lists here. I mean, we got driving again. We got cleaning again. Uh, I don't know, building. I don't know how that would work, but that'd be pretty fun. Um, being an introvert or extrovert. Uh, role playing, I would be a high skill on that. Uh, we got worker, AFKer. That's so funny to me. Wait, that's hilarious. Hilarious. We got running as well. Oh my gosh, wait, what if you had a running skill and then the higher level you get, the faster you run? I don't know if that'd be useful, but maybe, I don't know. Uh, farming, I guess that's, they already have carrots and stuff. This could be added into the gardening one and maybe you can have like actual like cabbages and stuff that you can, I have always wanted this. So when the gardening update actually came, I really wanted this where you can actually use the carrots and stuff in the cooking recipes. That will be something that I really want. So if they ever add farming, I would really like that. Kissing butt tree. I, mm, I object. <laughs> but there's so many skills that can be added in Bloxburg. And I think they can do so much more with skills. I mean, right now the skills are pretty useless. And except for, again, cooking and gardening. Um, I really need to up my cooking skill. I need to go to max. I still can't make sushi. Um, but I wish they could do more stuff with the skills because I feel like they're just, aren't, they're just not using it as, as much as they can. I mean, I, I think they can do so much more. I mean, with the ones that they already have as well, like with writing again, like I said, they can write a book and be all that athletic. Maybe they, instead of like running, in the athletic, if you like up your skill, you can like run faster or maybe with your mood, your energy doesn't like decrease fast. Like it doesn't decrease as fast as other people or does that already happen? I don't know, but that would be cool if that would happen if it's not already added. And then we still have two more skills that we're still waiting for to be added, which is crafting and programming. I hope programming has some use to it. I don't know what it would do, to be honest. I mean, maybe a programming job like computer science. I don't know. Maybe we can have another job added for the skill. And then if you up your skill, you get more money. That's how it works in Sims. If you ever played Sims, you up your your skill of your career and you get more money. So that would be really cool. I don't know. And with crafting, I'm not sure, but that sounds really cool and really awesome. So I'm excited for those new skills. I don't know if they're going to ever be added though, uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. But if you have any recommendations of skills you want added in Bloxburg, let me know down in the comments below because I would love to know your ideas. Um, oh, hello, Chris. <laughs> they're still here. Um, hello. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're wondering why they're here, 
here. Make sure to stay tuned, not stay tuned. It should already be uploaded. I uploaded a video before this of the triplets due date. So if you guys wanna know when the triplets are coming, make sure to check out that video. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys later with another one. Bye-bye. Actually, before we leave, we're gonna do some shout outs here. So we have some code unicorn shout outs here. Thank you all so much for using code unicorn. If you ever use code unicorn, make sure you send me a screenshot on Twitter, Discord, or Instagram, and I'll give you a little shout out here. So the first one goes from I, I, Bubbly Honey X over here. Thank you so much for using code Unicorn here. Thank you to Aesthetic Azalit Azalito. I'm, I'm so happy you put this in your... I, everybody knows I suck at pronouncing Azalito. I hope, I hope I said it right. Thank you so much for using code Unicorn. Thank you to XXX underscore Toxic Gummy Bear here. Thank you to uh, Little X Cutie. Thank you to It's Hannon Unicorn. Mina on Roblox Gamer. We got Wubba Bubba Dub. <laughs> <laughs> I love that name. We also got I love you Ashley Jasmine. I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you to Valerie here. We got Chloe here. Oh my gosh, we got some cute art here from Not Liam C. Thank you to Amber, Be Wild Unicorns. Uh, we already got you, I think. A little cutie. I love you. We got Ben New. We got Chloe as well. And um, I think we're getting repeated again. But thank you all so much for using code Unicorn here. But we haven't done shoutouts on Twitter in a while. So here we are. The first shoutout goes to Mary over here. Thank you so much for using code Unicorn here. Thank you to, uh, well, you made a little sign on adopt me and that's what I love that <laughs> we have some cute art from a Mimi over here That is adorable. Thank you so much. I think oh wait I think I saw this she made me so thick it was <laughs> and then she made cactus <laughs> Thank you to Aleiko over here for using code unicorn as well. Thank you to Allison Morgan I love you all so 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 much. Oh my gosh. Somebody made a funeral <gasps> Uh oh. Thank you to Micah uh, the candle as well. Thank you to Liam. And I think that is all we have that are new. Uh, also, make sure to follow me on uh, Twitter. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And now I will leave. Okay, bye bye.